You're watching Talk Weekly. Pod Peace on Demand. Hello and welcome to Talk Weekly. My name is Daniel and I'm with uh, Connor. So I'm Yale. And today we're going to be talking about hobbies. Connor, what do you think about hobbies in general? Uh, important to have and to find the other person. Yeah, like they're interesting. Like yeah. there's many type of different things, and it really depends on the person because not everyone likes the same type of hobbies. Uh, so I mean, what, what what hobbies do you like? Oh, well, I like farming as a hobby. And... Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm more into sports, and I feel like sports is a really good hobby. Well, first of all, there's many type of sports. There's basketball, there's soccer, and there's many other others, but. The main reason why I think sports are the most important hobbies is because, uh, first of all, it keeps you more active and more outgoing, and it also makes you your um, your just talking skills much much better because you're talking to your team, you're telling them oh, what to do, and you know you're cooperating, and I think I just feel like that's really important in just life in general. What's your favorite type of sport? Uh, it I have to say soccer. Do you support a team or in a team? Uh, I support a, a country, uh, Portugal. Do you play for anybody? Uh, I used to, but not anymore. Right. Uh, okay. So, uh, my hobby is farming, as I said, and I think it's good to have. As you're always outside, and it's good for your health, as you're always getting fresh air, and you're staying active, and it's good for your fitness. And also good for your mental health as you are like it distracts you from things and yeah okay and what's your what's your favorite um job in farming like what's your favorite thing to do i will enjoy doing most things but probably feeding the animals like feeding the pigs or sheep okay and what's your favorite animal uh pigs but First animal I actually got was a lamb. Got it small and was feeding it like three times a day with a bottle and all. Went down the in story. What? Went down the story. Oh, I three t- feeding it three times a day and like you watched it grow up and you thought you were really cool having this lamb by yourself. Mm-hmm. Going out to feed it when you were maybe four or five. And then as it grew older and then you put it on the table for some day. <laughs> was it nice? Ah, oh, it wasn't too bad, no. Ah, oh, nice. And Connor, what, what type of hobbies do you like? Yeah, photography. Okay, and what, what type? Editing? Um, taking photos. Taking photos, yeah. okay. And what type of photos do you like taking? Yeah, mainly uh, motorsport photos, like bike racing and all. Okay. Do you have a favourite um, place to go to to take photos? or? Preferably a uh, road circuit. Like so it's like no more. Yes, okay. certain one that you'd rather go. Yeah, I wonder if probably over Ireland's one hundred, one hundred circuit. Yeah. Okay. And is there any specific like um motorcyclist that you ever want to like take a picture of or? Not really. No. Okay. Would you like to be a professional photographer like when you go? Nah, this is like it for fun. And do you guys think uh, hobbies are important? Yeah, it's important to have, but it keeps you doing something all the time. Yeah. And I just feel like having something to do, it just makes you a better person in general. Because if you're doing something, and it's like sometimes you're doing something out of, like, you don't even like it, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just get, you know, unwell, and, you know, you want to do things that you like. It can help you take your mind off things as well. Yeah. Like if you're going through a tough time or something, you go and do your hobby. It can help you. Yeah, I, I, th- I, I honestly think that hobbies is one of the most important things to, like, for a person's health. Yeah. But the, f- the thing is, right? There is actually weird hobbies. There is um, actually a belly button floss. It's it's pretty weird. It's just uh, how much floss you can take out of your belly button. It, don't ask me. It's a it's a hobby. There's also um, an ironing uh, hobby where you iron clothes, and also we have to groom dogs. 
that's apparently a, ho uh, a hobby. Pe people have their own type of hobbies, you know, you gotta respect each other. Like, I respect that you like farming. Yeah, and I respect that you like sport and that and helps to keep you fit. Mm. Yeah. And do you, like, if you were to give tips for someone who wanted to start farming, what would you, what would you say? Oh, well, you sort of need to start off with knowing some teamwork. Okay. What, what type? Like, being able to work with other people and managing things. Okay, and what would you like, recommend them starting? Like, what type of jobs? Well, like, if you're at the like, feed animals, it's not a hard job to do. Mm. It's one of the easiest jobs, probably. What about you, Connor? What would you recommend uh, people who, who want to start yeah. uh, taking photography? Find photos? something you're uh, interested in. Mm. Like, expand that interest out. Okay. Well, for people who want to get into sports, I would recommend them, like, start, like, learning about the rules, how to, like, how to work, and then you maybe, like, start watching, like, other like, professional players play it, and you can kind of get a grasp of how it's, of how it's function. Yeah. And, yeah, that's pretty much, um, the, the, the how you get to learn a, yeah. a hobby, I guess. Is there anything else? No. No. Like, what, like, what, how did you find out, like, why, what got you into, uh, photography? I was my uncle always type photos, so I always wanted to try for myself, and he gave me a camera once, and the first time it was natural at it. Hmm. That's really good. Okay. And were, were you always, like, is your family always a farmer? Yeah, I grew up on a farm, like, and mum and dad's both sides, farmers. Okay, and do you plan on being... A farmer in the future, or I uh, maybe if not full time, part time, like get a job and fit the farm in evenings and that. Okay, well, I'm I'm actually interested in uh, in sports in general, and I might it depends on how well I do, but may take a may a career out of it. What sort of career would you be thinking? If you I don't know, I mean, I feel just becoming like a professional player itself would be kind of hard yeah. considering like how many people there is around the world and there's such limited you know yeah but i would just start um practicing i guess yeah is there anything else you guys want to talk about not that i have do you want to say no hmm. like, what's your experience with what would you say is like the hardest thing in farming? Uh, well, probably like if you have a sick animal or so on, and like you really care for it to watch it being sick and maybe dying or whatever, like you know. Yeah, so emotional. It's uh, really hard. Okay, and has that ever happened to you? I well, I actually had two pet lambs when I had that lab, and one of them died when it was only like a week old. And how old, how old were you? Uh. Five or six, I think. Okay, that's pretty long ago. And what about you? Yeah, the thing to do, like more sports photography, you just quite fast after try to get the uh, the timing right and all. Mm. And is it like, like how many sh how many pictures do you need to take normally to get the perfect one? It's like hundreds of them. That's a lot. And like, do you take like um. Like, do you practice like them usually? Like, do you just go to random places and you know practice? Yeah, when I went to uh, Alaman this year, for the okay. Road, uh, went to one day, the the CT section and just took, took photos. Okay, Excellent. and I mean, time's running short. There's not much we you know can talk about. Um, if you were to, would you be, would you be interested in doing sports in the future? Oh, well, maybe if there was a football team or something about. Like just a small club, mm. I could maybe. Go. Okay, like I would honestly, if I could, I would do photography. Like I always found it very interesting. Yeah. And you know, fascinating. It's the like, pictures, are, they're really interesting, and you know that's about it. Yeah. There's no time for running low, and you know I guess we'll see you next week for our next section.
which are about uh, friendship. Bye. Bye.